takes me back to our times with Shamdas. We, we played this mantra in Rajasthan together <laughs> in a, in a, on a balcony uh, of, a, of a hotel uh, in, oh, yeah. in the desert somewhere. And um, Shamdas, we, you know, we talked about him in the, in the session with Lisa. He came through because he has left his body in the meantime since, since then. And um, he's still with us in non-physical form. And uh, he was just such a uh, radia radiator of joy <laughs> and <laughs> and and uh, life energy and, and enthusiasm for life. And his whole life was dedicated to Krishna. And Krishna is the the all attractive. Kr Krishna is joy, is bliss. You know, Krish Krish means uh, to attract Ananda, to attract bliss. So. Shri Krishna Sharana Mama means I take refuge in, in the energy of Krishna. And uh, Sham's, Sham's quality was that joyfulness of Krishna, but at the same time, you could feel that he'd had a lot of pain in his life and he'd overcome many mm. uh, obstacles to be a survivor. He was in India at the age 17 living as a sadhu, you know. And we met him when he was about 60, maybe. You know, so we were only there in his last years, but he immediately took to us and introduced us to in an India that we'd never yeah. seen, even though Deva and I, we'd been going to India for like 20 years, yeah. and we thought we'd seen India. But uh, when Shandas took us in, into the villages and through the fields, we would walk for hours through the fields and come to uh, a little village and a temple and inside the temple there would be a sadhu or <laughs> baba, you know, and um, immediately there would be a satsang happening <laughs> and, uh, and Shamdas could speak Sanskrit and could sp obviously speak the language down there. So, Braj. Yeah, Braj, yeah. And it was so beautiful. For yeah. example, there was this young woman, she was uh, 35 or something. She had actually not grown up in that area, which is mm -hmm. the Krishna, the Krishna Leela place. Mm -hmm. That's where Krishna <laughs> hung out. 
and uh, Sh- that's Sham's language. <laughs> and uh, so she 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 was just uh, like a modern day Mira, you know, like somebody who's just in love with Krishna, and Krishna is a her husband, and it's so tangible, and and uh, you can just feel it. And she would um, do that parikrama, that uh, that pilgrimage or that walk around the Govardhan hill which takes about four and a half hours at least once a day if not twice a day and uh, and she would just sing and just bake these garlands for all the for all the temples and out of flowers and just to be with her we, ha- we couldn't understand her we couldn't understand her, her language, language but, but we uh, could we feel it yes and to her voice her <laughs> voice was amazing her voice she sounded like Indian Janis Joplin, <laughs> <laughs> you know, really rough and really like full of soul. But India, she didn't know what she was singing, but she was just singing Hare Krishna. She didn't need to sing anything else. Yeah, yeah, um, amazing people that we met down there. And also our, our beloved Radhanath Swami we oh, met. Yes. And uh, if you want a good book on spirituality and one man's... Uh, uh, what's that word when you uh, go on a pilgrimage uh, it's called The Journey Home and it's by Radhanath Swami and uh, it's, it's a great a book it's, it's a great it's book yeah. <laughs> and he's a very very beautiful spirit uh, in Bombay living in Mumbai and uh, leading many people towards the light mm. Yeah. and this is a song for all our teachers and uh, Ingratitude. <laughs> we are awakening to the calling of the mystic, awakening in the flowering of the heart, and everybody here melting into presence. Overflowing effervescence, rising in love. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Satchidananda. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Awakening 
In the oneness of it all, everybody here, part of each other. We're sister and brother, and we're rising in love. Can you sing with us? Especially singing for my good friend Brandon Bain, oh. my husband Kevin, and for our good friends Cliff and Gabby and our Gabby G, mm. <laughs> and everybody, all of you. We are all awakened, and that's what it feels like, and uh, that's the feeling that uh, is in the air, and uh, in many different. Uh, ways of uh, awakening to the reality of the moment and this uh, coronavirus has given us that opportunity given us a even more direct and uh, un, um, uh, what's that word when you just cannot argue you you know that it's true you know we are given this very strong opportunity to wake up. I know that David and I are having an amazing time exploring and just being together in this way. This is new for us too, you know. <laughs> this is, uh, and uh, it's just been amazing. <laughs> <laughs> just been amazing. And without you, it wouldn't. It wouldn't have been the same. Am I right? I know. I just it's really amazing, feel like it? I'm with you every day, and <laughs> it's just I'm looking forward to seeing you guys <laughs> in, in this way. And uh, and uh, Deva Priya. Oh, Deva Priya is mm. with us. Deva Priya. <laughs> Deva Francisco. Deva Priya mm. is it's Francisco. Francisco Prabhas. Oh anyway, I'll tell you a little <laughs> about Deva Priya la later <laughs> because <laughs> Deva Priya <laughs> is one of our true beloveds from the ashram and if ever you want the best the best the best the best indian food you have to go <laughs> see deva priya <laughs> there's nothing like deva priya's food <laughs> you know there she is. Is she there? <laughs> <laughs> I tried something new with the mics and I hope it's okay. There's a lot of wind today, so I put this extra wind shield on the mics. So I hope they're not muffled, but I'm not seeing any complaints here so far. Um, but anyway, we're just doing our best. Um, I just want to do, I just want to say one more thing about the because we tend just mentioned coronavirus, and I just posted yesterday this. I shared this event that's coming up next Sunday with um, Anna Breitenbach, 
and it's very special mm -hmm. because she's th she's we've been talking about Anna our beautiful beloved animal communicator angel friend <laughs> from South Africa and she is doing a, a webinar next Saturday I think it's on Saturday you see the, in the post uh, where she's gonna shed some light on the coronavirus situation from her point of view because of course coronavirus is also a, a, a sentient being to, to that we can tune or that certain people can tune into and um, it's also a fundraiser for her health and for her uh, for the hard time physically she's been going through actually for quite some years and uh, it's it she's really such a beautiful spirit to hang out to get to hang out with for an hour and a half so I just want to um, make sure that you know about it and yeah. if you are inclined to it's a it's a beautiful it's it's for me it's always such an uplifting expanding time with her so let's uh, check on, on the Facebook post you know also if uh, if you haven't if you're not aware of Anna or if you haven't um, uh, I know many of you are and I know many of you will be tuning in but for those of you who uh, are not aware of Anna and her work uh, go to YouTube I, I've posted the Anna link also so yeah. so check out the link yeah. it's a uh, I think it's Diablo, it's yeah, called. Yeah, I put it on the post so you can find it easily on the Facebook post. Yeah, but look for, is it Diablo? Yeah. Yeah, look for yeah. Diablo. Did I put it exactly? Yeah, good. <laughs> 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 I, did I get it? <laughs> sometimes, sometimes, oh sorry, Danny. sometimes I don't get and sometimes I do. <laughs> So we have a, a laughing meditation today. <laughs> Maybe we should have a laughing meditation. What do you guys say? Should we do that? Okay. Okay. You're in. Okay. Okay. Okay, well, we can do. We can, I don't know. I'd we can do an <laughs> inner laughing meditation because like we uh, now know, l meditation is not serious. So we can have a beautiful time in our inner sanctuary having a good laugh you know and uh, you don't have to hold back but you don't have to force it it's just a natural state of happiness and we're moving into the states of happiness for no reason at all I am <laughs> and I think my wife is and I think <laughs> many of us are because we are moving deeper yes we're moving deeper into light and love and happiness is a result of our gatherings over these last days and weeks and months happiness for no reason for no reason so let's be happy in our meditation yes let's be happy don't worry be happy <sighs> shall we close our eyes mm. and we are sitting in our power spot with a big smile <laughs> on our face <laughs> <laughs> for no reason at all <laughs> <laughs> and it feels good. It feels <laughs> good. <laughs> and, uh, people next door mm. probably think you're crazy. Mm. That's okay. <laughs> oh, I think yeah. So laughter and a straight back, a, s a nice erect spine that does not take away our smile and a nice relaxed feeling in the body we're relaxed we're happy for no reason so we can chant the mantra with deva with this space breathing deeply and letting the sound travel to the end of the breath breathing deeply and letting the sound travel to the end of the breath and so forth and so on breathing and on mm. and breath and on and breath and on and remember om is an om it's om so don't forget that so that that mm sound starts to resonate in your body that's a big essential part of your meditation with the mantra om it's the mm sound we often forget it So enjoy your meditation, beloved. 
global Gayatri Sangha that we have become. And if this is your first time with us, welcome to our blessed Sangha across the world. We are connected through the heart and through our breath and through our love and our intention to make the world a better place. Take a deep breath and breathe out. And a deep breath.
your eyes open, close your eyes, come home. every one of our seven chakras we are addressing and they are all a reflection of the whole universe of the whole creation because the mantra says we meditate upon the source of all things so the beginning of the mantra is all things all seven levels reflected in our bodies and and um, beyond so we just really can put also our hands on each chakra as we move up Om Bhu for the first chakra, Om Bhuvaha for the second chakra, Om Svaha for the third chakra, Om Maha for the heart chakra, Om Janaha for the throat chakra, Om Tapaha for the third eye chakra, and Om Satyam for the seventh chakra, the thousand petaled lotus where we are aware of our oneness. And each one of the chakras has its function, has its need to be there. You cannot be one, cannot be without the other, and one is not 
lower than the other or less important. So we really, every one of those chakras gets activated and we honor each chakra and then we say, we meditate upon this complete experience, this universe, and uh, invite this divine light of pure consciousness to awaken us and to give us energy and to inspire us. So that's the meaning of the mantra, that's what we are singing. And again, you can use your arm, you can, you can stand up, you can dance, whatever you like, how to express your your immersion in this dance of the universe that we are all part of and that we all create by our, our lives. First chakra, second chakra, third chakra, fourth chakra, heart center, fifth chakra, throat, sixth chakra, seventh chakra.
Just with your eyes closed, maybe you can hear the ocean from us here in the background. It's quite loud here today. It's maybe high tide. Just we can feel the waves coming in there mm -hmm. and the life energy that is contained in that the beautiful oceans of our planet. that connect us all, all around the planet. <laughs> that was a great meditation. Mm. <laughs> Take a deep breath. about your mana beads they look like more than 108 <laughs> it's because there are knots in between there's two knots in between each bead so it looks like more there's only 108 <laughs> we're going to finish with uh, today with a uh, with a song from uh, by Bob Marley because uh, very close to my heart it's a song for the goddess really and uh, Bob passed away just of his anniversary was uh, actually last week on the 11th of May and we missed it so uh, it doesn't really matter at this point <laughs> wherever you are Bob we love you Bob Marley is a great inspiration for me and David because he made music that was from devotion and uh, it was uh, you know the Rastafari uh, movement it it is um, it's a in intensely 
uh, intimate connection with your Guruji and uh, all the music that Bob Marley made came from that space of devotion and uh, I resonate with that because that's how I feel uh, uh, Osho gave Dave and I this experience of being able to play the music that we loved not uh, to try and play uh, Kirtan or Indian music or to be a, a master sarod or, or in Deva's case a, a master singer he just uh, wanted us to share uh, as naturally and as authentically as we can and not try and be anybody else and that was uh, a great teaching for me and it was a great teaching to see Bob Marley uh, own that in the eyes of the world and uh, it was always a great inspiration and this song it's really a song for the goddess and I don't mean some uh, goddess on uh, a tanka I mean everybody everybody who is representing the goddess in the physical form you guys out there looking and enjoying the meditation today the women of the world this is a great message of gratitude and, and, uh, and thanks finish before yeah, yeah. If we don't finish, you guys watching on Instagram, we love you. But we'll do our best. We're going to do this. No woman, no cry. No woman, no cry. Said I remember when we used to sit in the government yard down in Trenchtown. Hubba hubba serving the hypocrites as they would mingle with the good people we meet. Good friends we had, yeah, good friends we loved along the way. In this bright future, you can't forget your past, no, no, so dry your tears, I say.
And our hearts are only carriages So while we push on through You better remember that Everything is already alright Everything is already alright Everything is already alright right. Yes it is Everything is already alright Everything is already alright, yeah. Everything is already alright. No woman, no cry. No. No woman, no cry. Oh, my little sister, don't shed no tears. <laughs> I'm going to just um, switch off Instagram and switch it back on because they have this one hour cut off and then I think I can't save it so bear with me for one minute on Instagram we're going to come straight back and then we do a loca and then we end together Thank you. 
And happy birthday to everyone who has <laughs> birthday today because I'm sure there's some of us who have birthday. Happy birthday. Happy beautiful day. Yes. Happy happiness day. Yes. Stay happy, huh? Let's stay happy, happy today. Happy for no reason. Yeah. Yeah. Namaste, friends. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> <laughs>